Okay, folks, here we go. Turning left on Outlet Boulevard so that we can go to the Daytona Beach Buckies. Looks like there's uh, some traffic here already. Wow, is it really this popping on a Sunday? Nice. This Bucky's is on exit 265 off of I-4. Or you can just come right off of LPJ Boulevard like I did coming from the DeLand area. I actually got off I-4 at exit 129 to come this way. Let's let's just go right into the Bucky's here. Alright. Never been to a Bucky's before, folks, so. This is the first time for me to let's go check it out all right so there's a little fountain there right next to the i4 set the tone for the buckies that we are at now i've seen this in other people's channels but you know i wanted to come and check it out myself this is actually really big and um it's almost like a little small city here i, I swear there's probably a few hundred people here at this buckies Hello folks, welcome back to my channel, All Wonky Vids, Ant here with you, and I am actually here at Bucky's here in Daytona Beach, Florida. This is my first time here, and it's on the way to my aunt and uncle's house. I decided I'd stop by here, and um, hopefully I'll be able to get this video uploaded tonight so you have a same-day video for once since I've been away for a bit. Anyways, Bucky's is huge. There's about um, a thousand gas stalls over there. So um, I'm going to go and check out what this Bucky's has to offer. Why don't you come along with me? Oh yeah, folks. Put on your Sunday's best and come to Bucky's. This place is popping. Nice. I don't know who comes at gas stations to buy grills, but uh, they're here if you need them. Oh yeah, this is definitely a place to be, folks. It is pop in here. Sunday night at Bunkies. Sunday night at Bunkies. Who the funk? Poppin'. This place is huge. Look at all this stuff. I, I heard this was a little more than a gas station, but you know, this is like a Bath and Body Works over here. Craft store. <laughs> Bucky's. It's a gas station. Oh, now I see why this place is so popular. It's like a little theme park in here. They got their own mascot. You know how Florida loves its theme parks. Yeah, look at this guy right there. This cashier register on the south side of the building is way less crowded. You can get through way faster. And that's an all wonky pro tip for you. You're welcome. I do like the look of this little old fashioned Coca Cola sign. Even though it's a brand new store. Wonder if it was a used sign. Who knows? I'm a sucker for that kind of marketing. I know, I know. But, oh, you know, you're serious when you got a fitting room in a gas station. That's pretty cool. And here it is, folks. Their world famous jerky wall look at all the different jerky you could get Ooh, delicious oh and there's like a there's like a whole food market in here that's pretty cool right yeah i think it's cool oh yeah look at all these desserts delicious wow this is over here at the little food market here i get some barbecue stuff that i saw them making over there Always the best smell from these uh, glazed pecans. And look at that. Getting made fresh right there. Nice, Bucky's. Oh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about the Texas barbecue right here. They're making it all in those smokers and everything. That's quite excellent, Bucky's. That's quite excellent. Certified Angus beef. Oh yeah, look at that slab of meat. He's cutting over there. Doing a great job too. Yeah, they, these are delicious. This is um, sliced brisket sandwich. I, I might have to get one of these. Yeah, I'm cutting it right there, perfect. 
That's awesome. Who would expect that at a gas station you'd have this excellent barbecue? But I, but I guess they're known for it. Yeah, just, just look at them chopping that brisket. Nice. That's a good looking piece of meat too. Yeah, see they got all sorts of stuff to eat here at this little barbecue place. Chopped brisket. Delicious. And then they have a whole deli here too. Look at all this you can order. <laughs> That's popping. I do, I must say, there is a lot of parking over here, especially on the south side, and even back behind the building here, on the other side where there's not all the gas tanks. The only thing that I'm surprised about is that there's not like some sort of picnic benches or anything over here. Like, look, like those are all like uh, little yard grill fire things you can buy. I mean, <laughs> you can come to Bucky's on the side of the road, buy a fire pit if you need it, I guess. But yeah, I'm surprised there's not like some sort of picnic area, especially since I just got them. Some delicious food here that we're going to check out. Okay, folks, so I just got the chopped brisket sandwich and the sliced brisket sandwich and a large ice-cold Coca-Cola natural flavor. And um, the total was $15.60, so about $15. That's like 500 Thai baht. But, um... I know it's both brisket, but let's go ahead and open these up and see what you get for $15. Okay, got those open and ready. This one on the left here is the chopped brisket. That looks pretty good, pretty well chopped. And they do have a bit of sauce on that. And then this one is the sliced brisket. Look at those slices. Ooh, I like that darkness on the edge. And um, they did have other sauces and stuff in there that you could get to put on them. But you know, I I just want to try them the way they are, and I actually have sauces and other things in my food stuff thing, anyways. But let's let's go ahead and try this out. I mean, let's start with the chopped. Oh, man. that's nice and juicy. Even though it's chopped, it's like pieces are a pretty good size. And well, I mean, look at that little piece that just fell out there. Super savory. Mm. Oh yeah. That's not bad at all. The brisket is really good. I mean, there's a little chunk of meat here. So it's pretty good. All right, now let's try this sliced one with the slices of meat on it. That's delicious too. I mean, oh, must. Mmm. The sauces are the same on them, but if you want to be a little cleaner, I would I would go with a little sliced brisket because um, that chopped one's falling all over the place. So I guess that's the one I'll eat now. But um, yeah, this. And taste the exact same and um, maybe if you got your own little spices or the other barbecue sauces they had in there I mean you can spruce it up but I mean just just the way they are mm. delicious so I mean two sandwiches is, is too much I mean I'm probably gonna eat half of each or just eat that one but it is delicious so for $15 you actually get um, a decent meal here if you want here at the Bucky's and as you saw inside it's a little wild so so I do gotta say about this Bucky's I mean it's a Sunday and it's popping there's probably like a few there's probably a few hundred people in this area right here like a little city town but that's fine they got everything you could want there you get clothes you got those little signs for your house if you need them they had a grill smoker thing and um about um thousand uh, gas pumps and still line so that's cool too and um that part where we started off that was actually a pet run so you know if you're a traveler here and you're in the T Tona area or you just want to come and just check it out it's, it's kind of cool you know what I have to say the Bucky's in Daytona 100% recommend all right folks so I just wanted to give you a little video here 
same day that I did it. And I was on my way up north to um, Crescent Beach where my fam is. And I decided to stop here at Bucky's anyways right here before the sun goes down. And yeah, Sunday night, popping. And it was actually a really cool place. Got a lot of food, different food there stuff and stuff you can buy if you want. So if you're traveling on the road and you find yourself in this area of Daytona Beach, come on by and check it out. So I've got a lot more videos to come. If you like this one, don't forget to hit that like down below, you know, it really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't yet, because um, I am going to be definitely going on a lot more adventures here soon. I'll be popping some more videos from my Arizona and Southwest trip that I was just at and came back from. And I do have some surprises coming up here. Just give me about a week or two before I can actually go on a road trip again. Got to figure out what's going on in this life right now but yeah always appreciate all the views and all the comments and everything coming up and i do have a new camp roller video dropping soon here that i have to edit up my short haul change up and renovation so everyone like always be good to yourself be good to others and hope you have a great day peace looks like this uh sand hill crane here approves of bucky's it's always nice to eat with a friend. <laughs>